Let me introduce some long-haired friends of mine who uh, played, in the old days, long-haired meant classical music artists. Right. We were talking with the kids over there before about long hair and so forth. Do you think this is going to become a generally popular trend? Well, I think it's a little extreme to be, you know, worn on the street and that type of thing. It's a costume. Do you fellas get a lot of, uh, you know, jazz in, in hotels and airports and so oh, forth? Oh, wow. <laughs> tremendous, tremendous amount. But, but people tend to understand that when you say, I'm an entertainer, then they know why. Th that's true. But when you're, you know, just walking down the street and out of context, why they get, uh, you get, you know, some upsetting things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I want to talk, you know, these, by the way, as you know, are our friends from Action, the Robs, and there's no necessity for applause at this moment. Give it to them in a second. Because we, we want to talk about this new record. D, did you write this song? Yeah, right. Uh, what is that peculiar, unusual sound? Well, it's uh, something that was originally uh, tried by the Beatles and a couple of their tunes. It's a, uh, a backward guitar is actually what it is. It's what, uh, now, uh, I realize it's a recording technique, but what is the general effect? What happens when you normally play a guitar? Well, now when you normally uh, you know, hit the string of your gu guitar, the uh, note starts immediately and then fades off. You know, it'll go bum and then fade off. Yeah. Uh, when you reverse the tape on this thing, uh, the note fades in and cuts off immediately. So it's like a what? Okay. Will you will you show us how it happens? Will you give us some yeah, clue? Yeah, I'll give you a little signal of some kind. Uh, we'll listen for okay. it. Huh? Here's the latest, ladies and gentlemen, from the Robs. Yeah. 